wasn't for fuck's sakes. They were playing Marco Polo. So what if we were? Get out of here. I think you better leave, Craig. Jess? Just go. Yeah, stay the fuck away. Whatever. <laughs> it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Shane. You're telling me I must just let him get away with it. He's just messing with your head, Shane. He knows we're together. Just leave it. That's not the point. You know what they say? Make up six rocks. <laughs> You're an idiot. And besides, I wouldn't try that with Jace. Otherwise, Shane might just kick your ass. I would like to see him try, man. You better watch out. I got moves. <laughs> yeah, whatever, <laughs> man. What this party needs is a little bit more rock and roll. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> You're a freak. Well? Let's get up, skid by people. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Woo! <laughs> 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 I can't believe you keep standing up for that creep. I'm not standing up for him. He's just got a crush. Oh, come on. Kiss me. You should be so lucky. <sighs> come on. It's cold in here. And I would explain that then. <laughs> you didn't have any complaints last night. Trip tomorrow? Yes, the mountains, the fresh air. 
<laughs> and the booze and the weed. And now you're talking, right? Gosh, you guys are all the same. This trip is gonna rock. Yeah, um, tell me about it. This is quite a sweet party you got here. When are your parents moving? I wish. What's the time? 8.30. Oh, I better get some studying done. Where are Neil and Kate anyway? They're busy studying, which is what you should be doing anyway, genius. We got a test tomorrow? <laughs> and now you oh. wonder why you average D. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a big fat fail if I don't get some studying done. Well, technically, you and Shane have been studying a bit of uh, chemistry then. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You're a funny man. <laughs> I think it's... Okay. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Don't study too hard. Try not to. Bye. Bye. I think he likes you. I think he should go home. <laughs> That's it, people. Pens down, please. Craig, you will. That includes you, Mr. McKenzie. big weekend away, are we? See you next semester, Professor. <laughs> Hope so. Thank you, Craig. You know, you've been a big help this year. Thanks. I can use all the extra cash I can get. Your fourth year, right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Tell you what. I'm going out of town this weekend. Think you could handle marking these papers for me? Yeah, of course. Great. You sure about this, Professor? It'll be our little secret. Oh, and uh, don't be offended by Martha. That's your wife, sir? No, thankfully not. Have a good weekend, Professor. Thank you. You too. And you never told him anything. No, Shane, why would I tell him about our trip? He probably just doesn't hurt us. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, guys. What's up, Shane? Sure. You guys think you could have wasted any more of our time? <laughs> Some of us had more important things to study last night. Whatever, dude. Are you guys following the story? What you mean, babe? Apparently, there's this weirdo going around the country killing people. No way. Oh. What? Oh, whatever. I, all I need now is a spliff. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. It says that he's going around killing women that look like his dead wife. Do you think it looks like Jess? Come to think of it, no. Jess. No ways. Jess has got far bigger tits than that chick. <laughs> <laughs> so, we gonna roll or what? Yeah, well, we've been waiting for you guys for over an hour already. So, I guess who's not getting any of it? No, no way. One drag of this, and she does whatever I want. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's roll. So, what exactly are we looking at? Robert Parrish, white male, 45. 
suspected of at least 12 murders. That I know, Bradley. What I don't know is who the fuck leaked that information to the press. I mean, first we bungled the case, and now we've got the entire press corps all over us asking how this keeps happening. I mean, how difficult is it to catch a middle-aged academic, huh? I assure you, the person who leaked this will be dealt with, sir. Well, it's a bit late for that. Isn't it, Detective? What else do we know? Well, he was last seen here in the city about a week ago. We know he's left the coast for sure. And we've had his house under surveillance ever since. And? Nothing, sir. Do we even know how it looks like at this point? We do know he's grown his beard out and was last wearing a black rum hat. He's probably changed his appearance again anyway. We might as well start from scratch. Give me that. I think we need to get the profile on board. I'm giving you one week, Bradley. One week. If we get no further, I'm handing this case over to someone else. But sir, I've been working on this case for the last two years. One week. Some help will be nice, eh? I was pleased that you buy, Richard. You will thank me on Sunday. <laughs> You'll thank me. Honey, where are we supposed to pack all this shit? Well, we can leave some of the clothes behind, eh? Shut up and back the van. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, she's in. Get naked, babe. Just drink your beer, babe. Only one beer. So I take it you like it on top, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How about you shut the fuck up? How about you keep your mouth shut before she ties you up? I saw those cuffs in the bag. Just shut up, Rick. You know he likes it. I can't enjoy getting tired. Of it. <laughs> what you need is another beer, boo. He just opened one. You his mother. Didn't you hear? He likes getting told what to do. Oh, fuck it. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. No one's gonna be around in the end when you turn around. It's just you and I. for the uh, exam papers.
Thank you. You guys notice that car behind us? I swear it's following us. You've been smoking too much weed, man. It's gonna blow for a while. Okay, Shane, slow down. This guy's creeping me out. Well, killing us isn't gonna make him go away. Dude, what the fuck, man? Slow down, Shane. Yeah, baby. Sit down, yeah. for fuck's sake. Fucking asshole. What was that? I told you he was up to something. I think I cracked my head up. Yeah, it serves you right. Why is everything always going to be such a big joke to you? Sorry. Sometimes I don't even know where to go. I'm going to bleed to death. Shut up. You're lucky you trash. Otherwise, I would have heard a shitload more, Rick. Oh. What do you suppose that guy was doing? I don't know. But clearly, showing him the finger didn't work in our favor. Are you okay? Yeah, let's just drive. is believed to be in the local area. Police have warned that he could be armed and dangerous. Parrish is implicated in the deaths of at least a dozen young men and women. His latest photo will appear in the local press, and if spotted, contact the police immediately. Welcome back. Just after the breaking news, I have a new track here from a band called The Reason. The track is called I See You. Enjoy. I see you. Flying by Where are you going Every time you pass by I've seen you look my way Why don't you come What do you reckon? Well, I don't think we've got a choice. It's probably just a diversion. You know they're always fixing up these roads after the rain. And you should have got GPS? It's just going to take a little longer, that's all. Do you want me to drive? Yeah, I'm fine. So, uh, Michelle Abrams to see you. She's a profiler from our high tech division. Miss Abrams. Michelle, please. Have a seat. The boss says you've been having a bit of a problem with this parish character. You could say that. We've been tracking him all across the country. The commissioner recommended you come on board. The commissioner? <laughs> yes. We've heard a lot about the last case you've put together. Yeah, well, if everyone had done their jobs properly, we wouldn't have had all those unnecessary setbacks. But we got him in the end. Is that the file? Yeah. Have you been briefed? I've been following the case, but I'll need everything you have, Detective. Of course.
Good last if you see a sign. I was just thinking the same thing. We'll stop next time we see anybody. I can't even remember the last time we saw someone go past us. Well... Are sure we're on the right track? Let's just keep going until we actually do see something. I told you guys just to chill out, man. What you gonna do if a cop pulls us over? Mm. I'll tell them that you miss Daisy and you need it for medical reasons. Yeah, driving with Daisy, the stunner version. Yeah, I'm sure Morgan Freeman would jump at that opportunity. Morgan is a real tucker. He and Miss Daisy used to light up all the time during tax And dream about fuck. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, saw it on National Drill Well, I'm sure Miss Daisy wouldn't have let him hotbox the car. Miss Daisy was actually kind of hot. <laughs> okay. Now he's just freaking me out, man. Shut the fuck up, dude. Have you guys got any signal? No, it must be a bad area. Do we have enough gas? Stop worrying, it's not Friday the 13th. <laughs> I've actually got one of those hockey masks, the one that Jason used to wear. Why doesn't that surprise me, man? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, chill out. Okay? You're ruining my eye, man. Whatever, dude. This road's making a lot of turns, Shane. Are you sure we didn't miss an exit somewhere? Stop stressing. It's got to end up somewhere. And let's just stop and clear our heads. <laughs> Watch the road, Shane. to watch the road, Shane. Yeah, I heard you. What the fuck? Shane, be careful. There's someone in there. Stay where you are, guys. What the hell are you doing, man? Get the fuck out the car. Shane! Are you OK? Drix, get him off the road. Who the fuck was that, man? That was the same guy that overtook us. Bullshit. Dude, it had the same body work and everything. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Why would someone do that? Bro, he says there's some trying to screw with us, eh? Yo, he did a pretty good job. Is the van okay? Drive quickly. Now, try now. Okay, again. Okay, now. What do you know about engines, man? What the fuck do you know about engines, man? Chill out, dude. I'm just asking. You could be making it worse. Just stop it, both of you. It just, it just happened. It's nobody's fault. Man, no. Fine, you guys fix it. I'm going for a spot. Rick, for fuck's sakes, where are you going? Okay, does anyone know anything about engines? I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. Well, guys, we're supposed to know things about cars. Well, I don't, so sue me. Well, what are we going to do if we can't get the car started again? Maybe we could just wait for a car to come by. What car? Besides that idiot, we haven't seen another car for hours. It's getting late, guys. What are we gonna do? Guys! Come see. Come. This bin off be one of your stupid jokes, Rick. No, man, come see. There's a pathway leading up to a cabin. What about our stuff? It's only stuff, man. We need stuff for tonight. Like something. It's just for one night, man. You can, you can get, come back in the morning and come and get the rest.
Whoa, what's that? Wow, it's a lake. Cool. Very cool. Ow! Oh. You okay? It's my ankle. I thought you said we were getting close. I said I thought we were close. But it's starting to get dark. No. Can you step on it? It's fine. You just keep going. I don't know about this, guys. It's just for one night, man. Okay. Come on, Shane, just get it open. Finally. This works. <laughs> Jackpot. Hey guys, this place is actually pretty cool. It reminds me of Woodstock. Yeah, I didn't think a dingy old bed like that could actually look so good. I reckon a lot of fire. Have a few drinks. What do you say, guys? Mm-mm, not tonight, babe. I think it's bedtime. <clears throat> oh, come on, just one drink, man. Oh, we've had this one before. Shane, you in, eh? <sighs> not tonight, man. I'm out here. You guys just have to wake the fuck up. What, what about we go for a swim in the lake? Oh. I'm out, man. No, I'm going to crash right here. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not OK, Kim? Yeah, that's cool. You guys suck, eh? We're just tired, Rick. Whatever, Miss Daisy. I'll cut it out, bro. We can party tomorrow. Oh, come on, just one swim. Okay, fine, one swim. <sighs> Fuck you all very much, eh? Whatever. <laughs> Now this is what I'm talking about. Come on in, honey, before I lose my heart on. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck, it's cold. Oh, it's not that cold, man. Oh, so is this what you call making the best out of a bad situation? Yeah, well, take it off. Uh-uh. Take it all off, come on. Oh, you wish. <laughs> Feet are cold. <laughs> you sure that's his feet? <laughs> oh, don't make me come over there. I'd actually prefer it if you didn't come anywhere, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody does have a sense of humor. I was beginning to think you left it behind. I can assure you it's all here. Night, guys. Night. Good night. Get up. Oh, 
Merci. Thank you. I got a few ideas how to warm you up. Oh! What you gonna do now, big boy? Hmm, let me think. Oh, you're a dirty old man. Well, actually, you older than I am. Fine, you're a dirty young man. That I am. <laughs> What are you thinking about? I think I need a piss. <laughs> How romantic. Probably just Rick trying to make us get up. You know what he's like. I guess. Try and get some sleep. See, that's what happens when you drink so much crap. Rick, I don't see the humor in this. For fuck's sake, Rick, it's getting cold out here. Rick? Rick? Rick, this isn't funny. Rick? 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 Shit! <sighs> Morning, Jess. Where are the others? I don't know. I don't think they slept here last night. No, <clears throat> Rick. They're probably drunk out of their heads next to the lake. Oh, nothing would surprise me with those two. Rise and shine. <laughs> hey, guys, check this shit out. Pretty sweet. Wow, 
Wow. Jesus. It's actually quite stunning. Wow. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Wow, maybe we should sell all weekend, guys. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Doesn't look like anybody's been here in a while, though. I wonder where you reckon Katie are. Come, let's go get breakfast. Mm. Shane, are you gonna make a fire? Yeah, well, no, just a sec. Let's get some no. I think they went for a walk up the path towards the mountain. Looks pretty sweet. Nice. So going for a swim just now, huh? Bread room? Mm. <sighs> some peace. Oh, So what Parrish does is virtually embalm the victim's friends, thereby taking them out of the picture and allowing for his wife the opportunity to return to him. We believe that he drugs them and then force feeds them in order to keep them alive. But why? Years ago, he lost his wife in a genuine boating accident. Clearly, his grief has led him down a path that has become well, indescribable. I think he believes his wife planned her own death, that she bribed the police to declare her dead and ran off with someone else. I think he's trying to find her, trying to bring her back. So he sees these women as his dead wife? More than that, he believes he's married to them and that they'll eventually take him back. So why the embalming then? Well, as Detective Bradley said, we believe he feels the need to separate the victims from her friends and lovers, allowing her the chance to realize that she's still his wife. But I don't believe he really wants to harm her. In his delusional state, I think he genuinely believes that he'll release them and that everything will return to normal. You'll notice the detail he goes into when wrapping the victims. He clearly takes the utmost care not to kill them. Watch for the child, guys. What about the others? <laughs> you snooze, you lose. You don't suppose they went back to the van, do you? Mm. Didn't Shane have the keys? Did he? Mm. I don't know, eh? Should we go look for them? I think it's a good idea. Maybe two should stay behind in case they went for a walk to the mountains. Good idea. Kim and I will stay here. You guys can go. <laughs> no, I meant the two of us should stay here. Uh -huh. Kim and Neil go look for the van. <laughs> sure, Shane. Fine. Mm. Now, don't take too long, boys. Whatever. Mm. <laughs> Give me a plate. Just pack everything up. Go for the It's so good to go swimming. So he just lets them die? I think he tries keeping them alive for as long as he can. It's only when he realizes that she's not his wife that he simply kills her and moves on. The friends are simply left behind. Either someone finds them or... They die. And this cycle will continue until we find him. So you believe he'll continue regardless? I don't think he even believes that he's doing wrong. I think he believes that she's still alive and waiting for him to return to her. What we do know is that he'll carry on until he's reunited with her. Unfortunately, we all know that's not going to happen.
You don't suppose somebody stole it, do you? Fuck! Maybe Rick got it started. But if he got it started, then why wouldn't he come and get us? Should we wait for him? Uh, I think we should go back. If you got the van started, you'll find us there. Fuck, I'm gonna kill him if he's fucking with us. Since when do you smoke? I don't. His profile suggests that he'll continue doing this until he's found. I don't believe he has any regard for his own life anymore. That makes him dangerous. I want to speak to the person in charge. Just, just hang on a second. Yeah. I've got information about I can't just let you through here. I know where he oh, is. Just wait here. What's going on out there? <clears throat> so there's some guy out there. He's, he says he knows something about the parish case. Who is he? Craig's someone, a medical student from the varsity. So he says. What have we got to lose? Okay, officer, show you me. Yes, sir. How can we help you? I'm uh, looking for the person in charge of the parish case. Well, you found him. Take a seat. I believe you have some information for us. Yes. I believe that uh, that's Parrish's next victim. Check this out. Hey guys, how's it? The van's gone. What? It's gone where? We don't know. It's just gone. We think Rick got it started. So where are they then? We don't know, Jess. We couldn't exactly sit around and wait. You know, this is just typical. Probably off on a joyride somewhere. To hell with the rest of us. This is what happens when you bring stoners on a weekend trip. You can be such a hypocrite sometimes. Oh, look who's talking. That's not helping, guys. Well, yeah. Guys. Yeah, well, just ask Kim, because clearly she knows everything. Very mature, Jess. Why have you always got to pick away people like that? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. And you know what? If you guys want something to eat, start a fire. Yes. Just leave me alone. I need some air. Where'd you get Rick's clothes? I found them by the lake. The keys were there as well. Maybe this went for a walk, Jess. They could be anywhere. His sneakers are there as well. So he's barefoot. Big deal. Why would he walk all the way back to the van barefoot? We don't know that he went back to the van, Jess. So then you're actually saying that somebody did steal the van? Oh, 
guys, I'm getting such a bad feeling about this. What if something seriously happened to them? They could have drowned for all we know. Well, then let's split up and go look for them. Fine. Let's go. Sorry. Me too. Take this, man. What am I supposed to do with this? Just in case, bro. Just in case. Oh. Let's have a look at the anchor. I really think I twisted it again. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's just pulled, but I keep hurting it. Ow. Why would they come all the way out here? I think we should go right towards the mountains. I think we should split up. I don't think that's such a good idea, Cam. What if we get lost? I'll be fine. We'll meet back in an hour, okay? One hour, right? Kate? Rick? What are we going to do if we can't find them, Shane? Where's Neil? I don't know. We split up. Did you find anything? I didn't find anything. What if something seriously happened to them? I don't know. And they've gone to the mountains for the weekend? Yes. They've been planning it for a while. 
how did you get your hands on this file? I found it on a desk in his study. And he just lets you go in there? Well, not exactly, sir, no. Then how exactly did you get hold of it? I don't think that's the point. Oh, I think that's very much the point. Would you have preferred if I just shut up? I would have preferred if you came to us first before breaking into somebody's house. And told you what? That I think my chemistry professor's Robert Parrish. We would have taken the matter further. Look, if your suspicions are right, then this man, this William Burroughs, is probably tracking Jessica and her friends right now. Yes, ma'am. And you found some kind of a map on his computer? Yes, ma'am. Detective. I don't think there's cause for such warrant. Well, I do, and I think the commissioner will agree with me. Fine, but this is on you. I just don't understand what's taking him so long. It's a long walk to those mountains. <laughs> maybe he's even found them, guys. Yeah, and maybe whoever has Rick and Katie has Neil. We don't know that. For all we know, they're all three out there laughing about this, Kim. Yeah, well, I'm not laughing, and Neil has never broken a promise to me. Mm. He said he'd be back in an hour. It's been three. I think I'm gonna go look for him. No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I can't just sit here. What if that guy is stalking us? We don't know that, Kim. I'll go look for him. You both stay here in case he comes back. Okay. You said the right fork. Yeah. I'll be back now. And this is Shane? Yes. And you were with them on Thursday night? Yes. Doing what? Just swimming at her house. And you were close with her? But she's with Shane. What made you suspicious? I do some part-time work for him. And he asked me to mark some old exam papers. I picked them up from his house this weekend. I saw a book on the coffee table with pictures of Robert Parrish. I see. You got it. Everything will be okay. You'll see. He'll find him. It's gonna be okay. Just don't panic. Shane, what is this? Nothing. What is it's, it, it's Shane? Nothing. <gasps> no cap. I, you I can't this? explain. Where did you get this? What are you doing with these caps, it's, Shane? It's not what you think, Kim. <laughs> Shane, just stay away from us. Look for him, guys. <laughs> Do you get it? I didn't want it to see that. It, it was nailed to a tree along the path. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why would anybody do this? Oh, it's probably that guy in the black car. He planned everything. I can't just stay yet. I'm gonna go look for him. No, Kim! Kim! Wait, we'll make a plan. Kim! Just go after Shane, go help us find him. I'm not leaving you yet. Go. We shouldn't be out there at night.
glad you could join us. She'll be home soon. <laughs> You'll have to speak up, my child. What are you looking for? Yeah. Yes. I think we should move now. Yeah. Okay. You coming? Of course. Make sure he gets home safely. Yes, sir. No. I'm coming with. That's not the way it works. Please. I think it might be a good idea having someone they know there. Just in case. <sighs> okay. Let's go. What are we going to do? In the morning, we'll make a run for the main road. Relax, just breathe. <sighs> yes, sir. I imagine about four hours. Uh-huh. If all goes according to plan, we should have him by sunrise. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you, sir. The commissioner has just confirmed that the local authorities will meet us on the other end. Channel 9. Channel 9. Neil? Neil.
Stay where you are. I'm warning you. Don't fucking move. Gonna buy you a monkey bird. And if that monkey bird don't sing, Robin's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Please. We have to, we have to get out of here. Are you sure we weren't meant to go left at that last sign? I'm positive, sir. How much further do you think? We should be fairly close.
no. Neil. Can't get up. I'm okay. from driving. What time is it? 5 a.m. It's getting light. Uh -huh. Let's just hope they're still alive. Yeah. What do we have? There seems to be an old campsite towards the mountains. Did they find anyone? There's a path a bit further up the road. Has anyone had a look yet? No, sir. We're waiting for your instructions. Good. I want everyone assembled at the vehicles in five minutes. Not so fast. Hold on to this one and we'll get back to you. My gun. Damn it. 
Michelle. Craig, this is Bradley over. Craig, come in. Shit. Let me try. Craig, can you hear me? Over. Oh, damn it, dude. Now what? Oh, fuck, this is all we need. I couldn't just sit there. I had to do something. Shane. Are you okay? Don't touch me, freak. Look, 
Stop what you think. I'm here with the police. I swear I'm gonna kill you. Well, this is a surprise. Why are you doing this? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm here with the police. They've already found Kim. Look at Shane. We all know he's wanted Shane out of the way. He's lying, Jess. Please. <laughs> I just don't understand why. I loved him. This is Robert Parrish. We tracked him here. He set this whole thing up just to get you alone. Look at him. We all know he's wanted Shane out of the way. Please. Craig, we found the others. Parish is in the area. Be careful. We're on our way. Why? I just don't understand. I just want you home again, Angela. Jess, think about what you're doing.
Buy your movie today, Azura.com.